So welcome. Uh, I have a few people joined uh, just now. Uh, so welcome everybody and good evening. Uh, so in the number two dimensional analytical geometry for the part four. So uh, it should, uh, this analytical geometry is a very interesting uh, topic. In our normal geometry, we talk about uh, you know, the coordinates and the graphs. Another normal geometry in solo. So this analytical geometry is a field that combines uh, geometry and algebra. So now the uh, uh, geometry, uh, the whatever uh, uh, graphs that we draw in geometry, we number uh, them and the algebra order link pani, that is an equation. Other number paakar da analytical geometry of the so it's a, it's a very interesting topic. Okay, uh, many practical applications are there. So now uh, we will get started. In this one, we will start with uh, a couple of topics. Locus of a point, you know, straight lines. Okay, so straight lines, full line. We can draw it. We can part of straight lines. We can draw it. Remaining uh, straight lines uh, portions in our next class. We can draw it. Okay. Locus of a point of the just uh, you know it's a uh, fancy name you can say for uh, you know, the equation. So it's uh, uh, it's a uh, equation in the context of uh, geometry. So nationally analytical geometry like every um, graph you know we try to map to an equation. So, other than the locus of a point, I bring it in. The path uh, traced out by a moving point under certain conditions. Okay. So, that condition is the equation. Okay. So, under uh, certain conditions, that is called the locus of the point. So, when I made the y equal to 3x, so it's a straight line. So, locus of the all the points that satisfy this condition, y equal to 3x, will be the straight line that we are seeing in the picture. So, it's nothing but it is uh, this line. Uh, other equation of the y equal to 3x. So, so it's the same thing. Locus. Okay. So, if uh, some examples are taken. So, find the path uh, traced out by a point uh, ct and uh, comma c by t. So, that means uh, x coordinate is ct and y coordinate is c by t. So, it's a t is some parameter, okay, and uh, c is a constant. So, suppose what is the uh, path traced out of now? If uh, x comma y is ct and c by t, well, what is the relation between the two and what is the equation of the graph that you will get by plotting this path? Okay, what is the equation corresponding to, uh, you know, this uh, uh, point, okay. Uh, so uh, because here uh, c c is a t is a parameter, so I call it. Yeah, so t is a variable. So when t varies, uh, so obviously that c t uh, comma c by t it will take different positions. So it will also vary. So, so it will trace a path or trace an equation, trace a uh, so uh, trace a graph. So what is the equation for that graph? Other than our So. Uh, so, how do we go about this? So, the coordinates of any point in the path are ct, c by t. So, x coordinate is ct, y coordinate is c by t. So, we can write it as x equal to ct, y equal to c by t. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Locus. Locus is not path. Trace or condition or equation put the gone in the previous chart. Um, so, uh, if y equal to 3x, x equal to 0, y will also be 0. Correct? So that will be a point. 
அதே மாதிரி when x becomes 1 y becomes 3 so that is another point that satisfies this condition so then when x equal to 2 y becomes 6 so that is another point if you trace this uh, graph linking all these points so that is called the locus so locus na onume illa path or equation avladha okay Did I explain it well enough, Bhumika? Sir, I understand, sir. Very good, very good. So, okay. So, now, uh, coming back to this example problem, if uh, x equal to ct, y equal to c by t, again, put it down, what is the relation between x and y? Uh, that is what you have to find out. So, that will be the equation of that. Uh, curve whatever curve or line or whatever this uh, condition uh, will form um so appa nam eppadi polla idu appadina so since uh, c is constant and t is the parameter so we have to eliminate the parameter appa eppadi eppadi pannalam from 1 we get t equal to x by c clear yeah. and again from equation number 2 uh, we get t equal to c by y right uh, so uh, so it's a t uh, we have determined the two equations for t so we can equate the two so that way we can eliminate t so our objective is to eliminate t and form a relation between uh, x and y so appa enna ho x by c equal to c by y abdin vandru that means ad enna konja simplify pannaaga xy equal to c square so that is the locus of Uh, points that satisfy this condition x equal to c by c t and y equal to c by t right so given uh, it's like the parametric form uh, two points kodutirukanga and we eliminate the parameter and find out the equation of that uh, um, a corresponding equation so that is what we are doing so find the path traced out by the that is the path traced out by the point c c t comma c by t okay so let's move on to another example uh, this is another example right so if in given theta is the parameter find the equation of the lo uh, locus of a moving point whose coordinates are x equal to a cos square theta and y equal to a sin cube sorry x equal to a cos cube theta y equal to a sin cube theta nu kuduthukanga so indha mari represent pannadhu parametric form appdin per so x is given in terms of a parameter here theta is a parameter so x is given in terms of a parameter and y is given in terms of the same parameter now we try to find the relation between the two appa nama we have to eliminate the parameter le madhu previous problem we did the same thing so then now how we do it um is like this. so x equal to a cos cube theta is your equation number 1 and y equal to a sin cube theta that is your equation number 2 so now how can we link the two uh, the we know that the link between cos theta and sin theta uh, we have one basic link that is cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 and namakku theriya so we can use that formula here if we namai enna pannala irukke from 1 we can write uh, cos cube theta equal to x by a கரெக்ட்டா x a cos cube θங்கறதுனால cos cube θ x a னு வந்துரும் அப்ப நம்ம அது cos square θ x a 2 3 னு எழுதிடலாம் because we don't have a relation between cos cube θ and sin cube θ directly அதனால நம்ம square க்கு கன்வெர்ட் பண்ணிடலாம் அவ்வளவுதான் அதே மாதிரி if you look at uh, your second uh, equation we get uh, sin cube theta is y by a so adle end namak sin square theta equal to y by a whole to the power of 2 by 3 nu kekkum 
So the relation between the two is cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to one. That is x by a whole to the power of two by three plus y by a whole to the power of two by three equal to one. So this will be the equation of that uh, uh, graph. If you try to plot the graph, you know. Where, where x equal to a cos cube theta, you take various values for theta and find out, can find out the x and the y and plot that plot that graph will have this equation. So we are trying to find out the equation from the uh, parameters of the points. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's go to another problem. We'll take another example. Okay. okay. Now there is another example. If O is the origin and R is a variable point on y square equal to 4x, then find the equation of the locus of the midpoint of the line segment OR. If uh, now y square equal to 4x itself, you know, is a graph and it has got you know, the parabola. You know, the, is it clear? This is the equation, this is the uh, plot of y square equal to 4x. So, O is the origin. Okay. R is a point on the curve. So, it is, you can take it anywhere on the curve and draw a straight line between O and R and find out the midpoint M. Yeah. Okay, Adem Ari, for various positions of R, we can find out the midpoints. Uh, 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 you know, it will be at different different places. Now, Adala link panna, what you will get. Okay, so we have to find out the equation of that uh, curve. So, this is the same thing. And the, in the desired curve, la, uh, any point with the H, comma K, no chpon. Okay. Represented by Yam in the diagram. Apo, you can see you now if Yam has got coordinates H and K, this R will have coordinate 2H and 2K. You know, because Yam is a midpoint, Ilya, so X so double I know, Y you double I. So, uh, so the point on the curve uh, Y square equal to 4X, that will have coordinate 2H comma 2K. Right? But that will satisfy this condition that y square equal to 4x. My other point on 2k the whole square will be equal to 4 into 2h. We are simply substituting uh, x equal to 2h and uh, y equal to 2k in the equation y square equal to 4x. So you get 2k the whole square equal to 4 into 2h or 4k square equal to 8h or k square equal to 2h. So, for any point in the desired uh, the locus will satisfy this condition k square equal to 2h. So, if in a method we can substitute uh, you know, x equal to h and uh, uh, k for y, we get y square equal to 2h. Okay, so does it make sense? Is the locus of the point in the more than different uh, problems will be there. So the way we do it is, uh, uh, you know, either it will be in parametric form. Upon we will have to link x and y by eliminating the parameter. Other word type. Ila in the more work chart put the panga. Other end the you know the midpoint of a line. Another more la put the panga. So in that case, we will have to. Uh, you know, take the point on the desired locus as h, h comma k and try to find out what is the relation between h and k. Okay. So, like we have done now. So, is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So, there are more problems that we will do in the end. So, I thought I will stop uh, you know, discussions on locus of uh, point and we
we will go to straight lines now. So straight lines uh, in the linear equation of the form a x plus b y plus c equal to zero. If you plot any linear equation like this, you will get a straight line. Right? Okay? So the a and b are both not equal to zero. So so this is the general form of uh, general form for a straight line. A x plus b y plus c equal to zero. Okay. So, if uh, for example, if you take uh, the, the line of the y equal to two x plus one, I will put it. So, if you plot it, you know, it, it will all uh, you know, plot the points that satisfy this condition y equal to two x plus one. You will get the straight line as given in the picture. So, this is the reason why an equation like uh, a x plus b y plus c equal to zero is called a linear equation because the locus of the points that satisfy this condition will be a line so that is why it is called a linear equation so basically um, as, you know if you plot uh, a simple equation like ax plus by plus c equal to 0 you will get a line so ax plus by plus c abiding it is the general form for equation of straight line Next, we will go to um, if it's, it's uh, slope. Okay, so the straight line, Abhina. So whether it is how it is, how much angle it makes with the x-axis. It can be moving upwards. It may be going horizontal. It may be going downwards. So uh, that uh, the parameter that measures uh, that uh, slope or gradient that is called. Or, or direction and steepness, that is called slope. Okay. So, uh, general definition of slope is rise by run. Okay. Suppose there are two points uh, in a straight line, uh, x1 comma y1, and x2 comma y2. So these are two points on the straight line. Apo, uh, rise abina how much? Uh, increase in the y-axis that is called a rise. So, uh, no, rise up, mela pon. And then the y2 minus y1. So rise equal to y2 minus y1. And run is how much horizontal distance is covered in the uh, in the same time. And then the x2 minus x1. So the slope for the definition of the rise by run. That is y2 minus y1. Divided by x2 minus x1. So this is what we call call as slope. So if you know two points in a straight line, you can determine its slope using this formula: y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And if you know the angle uh, that the line makes with the x-axis, so that is your theta. Theta is a, suppose theta is the angle that the line makes with the x-axis. Then your slope is also equal to tan theta. The tan theta formula we know, right? Opposite side by horizontal side. This rise by run again. The slope, where it is applied, to determine whether two lines are parallel. So, if you are looking at the parallel, the slope will be same. If it is not same, they will go on intersect with each other. Ademari, two lines are perpendicular if the product of the slope is minus one. Ademari, uh, to determine uh, the uh, collinearity, I mean, so if the moon point on the one line layer ka abrin pagno abrin na, then slope of the first segment, so for A, B, and C, we have to verify whether these three are collinear or not. We can do it like this. Slope of AB can be written. The slope of BC can be written. Using two points, we can determine slope. Yeah, like in the form as given in the form. So, two two slope is equal. So, after that, the straight the continuous continuing line. So, slope change. Actually, then this 
in three points are not collinear. So, so that is that is that is where we will use uh, the slope. Uh, but slope is a very important concept, uh, and, and because the uh, uh, equation of the line can be represented in terms of slope, and there will be many problems that involve slope uh, that you will normally get. That. Okay, we will go to some more uh, discussions about uh, slope. So. If, uh, if, if the line is rising, the male point in the point rikana, then its slope is positive, right? Because when uh, rising line as x increases, y also increases. Then that is the positive slope. Okay. The direct relation of this one. If a falling line, then uh, when x increases, y decreases. As my rikana told me. Uh, negative slope, so that means that is the indirect relation. Then one variable in increases, the other variable decreases. So horizontal line uh, it doesn't uh, horizontal line it doesn't increase at all because the next x changes, y doesn't change at all. Right? So that is the zero slope. Uh, vertical line one day. Uh, its slope is infinite because then x doesn't change only y alone changes. So then all the vertical line the slope is undefined. Okay. So, the slope or the use and then discuss for now. We saw a general form for straight line uh, equation of a straight line. A x plus b y plus c equal to zero again. For now, but we can represent uh, equation of straight line in a few other ways also. So, for example, when two points are given, so how can you uh, determine the equation of the line? अपन में ना पढ़ लो हाँ, let us assume uh, that the two points are x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. अपन ना बस we take the third point x comma y ना तो तो। इप्प using this uh, formula for slope for x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2, we see that slope is rise by run ले आ y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. फार्मुलास्लो So two uh, expressions for slope. अब निपना है ना वरों y minus y1 by x minus x1 equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So this this is the equation for uh, straight line which we have derived using the concept of slope. So two points are given uh, given for us. Then this is the equation for that straight line. Y minus y1 by x minus x1 equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. This is now further simplified. Pan la, pani x plus y plus c equal to zero formula. Pan don't know. Okay. So I am not done all that. So in the in the level one, I am going to check the board. Okay. So because we we'll generally see the values for y1, y2, x2, x1, all. So we will just substitute. We will get the equation. After that, I am going to simplify. Pani y equal to अप्रमा Uh, I'll just show it to you what is an intercept. Mm-hmm. 
straight line it will uh, some of some sometimes it will cut x axis and y axis so if x axis is the cut point it will be uh, x comma 0 y equal to 0 that will have a coordinate x comma 0 x will be some value right so and the value then we will x intercept of insulin y intercept y axis is cut point at 0, y and that will be x is 0. So that y uh, is your y intercept. So this is your y intercept and this is your x intercept. Okay. Now we will get back to uh, our discussion on the slope. Hmm. If, uh, suppose we generally we represent that x intercept as a and y intercept by uh, b. Okay. So if a slope and y intercept are given, then 0, comma b is a point on the line. So uh, y intercept b abdina, that point is 0, comma b. So now 0, comma b is a point on the line, and let, let x comma y be another point. Upon the slope which is m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that is y minus b divided by x sorry no. So m equal to y minus b divided by x that will give you y equal to mx plus b. So this is another standard way of representing a straight line uh, when slope and a point a y intercept b are given. So y upon y equal to m x plus b. Okay. So now we will discuss the intercepts. So intercept uh, of a line is the point at which the line crosses either the x axis or y axis. So in the x na x intercept in the y and y intercept. Okay. So normally it, it, you know we use uh, a and b, a for the x intercept and b for the y intercept. So let x intercept equal to a and y intercept equal to b. Upper the line passes through a comma zero and zero comma b. Right? Anala equal to the line is Again, now we have the point put in the y2 minus y1 uh, divided by, sorry, uh, uh, y minus y1 by uh, x minus x1 equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. We saw that formula. Yeah, some, some time back. In the case of just applying it, the point is a, 0 and 0 b, the point is a. And the equation of the line is uh, y minus y1 and Y minus Y1 and then you know, Y, uh, X minus Y. So that is equal to Y2 minus Y1 again B minus 0. So we just apply that formula. Okay. Uh, that we saw before. Then you get Y by X minus A equal to B by minus A. And then I will simplify it. You get X by A plus Y by B equal to 1. So in the format, intercept format for the equation of straight line. Was, uh, they have given you uh, A and B, then ask you to write the equation of the line. It is simply uh, x by A plus y by B equal to 1. Okay. okay. So, any questions so far? No. Okay. Now we come to normal. Okay. So what is normal? Normal abdina perpendicular abdina. So normal and normal are under Normal in mathematics means it's perpendicular. Okay. So if A B is a straight line, A B is a straight line. And uh, we draw a perpendicular from the origin OC. Okay. So that is a perpendicular from the origin. And suppose the length of the perpendicular is B 
and the angle that the perpendicular makes with the x axis is alpha abinuchu suppose you are given p and alpha what is the equation of the line ab so that is a standard problem so the solution is like this the so length of the normal is p and angle made by the normal with the x axis is alpha abinuchu kana from this diagram we can see that cos alpha equal to p by oa okay so cos alpha is p by this oa oa is the x intercept okay uh that means x intercept is equal to p by cos alpha no clear yeah. so cos alpha equal to p by oa ngadanala oa is equal to p by cos alpha similarly uh, y intercept ob is equal to p by sin alpha no Now we already saw if the two intercepts are given, x intercept and y intercept are given, the equation of the line is x by a plus y by b equal to one. Yeah. So, so we simply use that formula. Uh, so x cos alpha by p plus y sin alpha by p equal to one and zero, or x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to p. So that is the equation. Now you see this equation is only having alpha and p. So suppose alpha and p are given. Uh, yeah, you should remember p is the length of the normal, okay, and alpha is the angle that the normal makes with the x-axis. Now, the equation of the line AB, okay, it is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to p. So this is called the normal form of the equation of straight line. So you know the parametric form known as. So parametric form na, we will discuss the locus. But we discuss for now. I explain to you. Parametric form na. Suppose x and y are uh, independently expressed in terms of a parameter. How do we link them? And the way to link them is by eliminating the parameter. Now we will discuss another part. If suppose a straight line passes through pass x1 comma y1 and makes an angle theta with the x-axis, okay? Now slope equal to tan theta, and uh, slope is also equal to y minus y1 by x minus x1, so which is equal to tan theta or sin theta by cos theta. So another one is the y minus y1 by sin theta equal to x minus x1 by cos theta. Suppose we represent, uh, you know, um, uh, y minus y one by sine theta uh, equal to r, and x minus x one by cos theta is also equal to r. So these are the two parameters. R is the parameter here. Okay. So we eliminate that parameter and uh, form the equation uh, like this. Okay. So. Y equal to y one plus r sine theta and x equal to x one plus r cos theta. So these are the uh, you know uh, expressions for y and x in terms of parameters. And uh, um, equation of the line is y minus y one by sine theta equal to x minus x one by cos theta equal to r. This is the parametric form of the straight line. So next is just I think uh, summary of all the different uh, equations that we discussed straight line the equations. So in slope and intercept, put it in the the equation is y equal to m x plus b. Slope and a point x one comma y one put it in the is y minus y one. Divided by x minus x one equal to young, or y minus y one equal to young into x minus x one. Two points put in the y minus y one by uh, x minus x one equal to y two minus y one by x two minus x one. Uh, and the intercept a and b put in the x by a plus y by b equal to one. So normal and the angle that normal makes with the x-axis alpha put in the x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to p. Parametric form put in the using parameter r uh, x minus x one by cos theta 
equal to y minus y1 by sin theta equal to r. So we re represent you know x in terms of r and y in terms of r. So, so that is that is another way of representing the straight line. And the general equation is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Okay. So, I wish to, you know, even though straight lines are uh, theory, okay, there are more, uh, you know, about, you know, parallel, uh, how to determine the, the parallelism or uh, collinearity and the money problems like that. Uh, that those things are uh, the angle between two lines. So, that the next class will cover more. So, basically, uh, today, the main part of the straight line. Uh, what, uh, what are the different uh, uh, ways of expressing uh, straight line equation? Different forms of straight line equation for straight line. The concept of slope, in, intercept, um, normal. Is the main part Okay. So. Now we will we'll go to some problems in uh, some examples, okay, using these concepts, whatever we saw so far. Okay. Find the equation of the lines passing through the point 1 comma 1 and y intercept is minus 4. Okay, let us take that as, as the first problem. Okay. So, if you have first one point is given, x1, y1 is uh, 1, 1. So, y intercept is uh, minus 4. Why intercept is minus 4? 0, minus 4 is a point on the line either. So, x2, y2 is 0, minus 4. Right? So, equation of a straight line, if we can uh, take it as the equation of a straight line, the two points are known. Y, y, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 equal to y minus y1 by x minus x1. So, you simply substitute, you know, uh, all the values. Uh, you get it like, uh, you know, equation like this. y equal to 5x minus 4, or you know, the final. So, just, you know, manipulating uh, the equation, you know, you know, grouping the terms, simplifying that uh, equation we get y equal to 5x minus 4. So, that, that is your equation of the straight line uh, that passes through point 1 comma 1 and y intercept is minus 4. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. So let's go to another example. Right. So we'll take the second case here. Equation of the lines passing through the point one comma one with slope equal to three. Okay. So the, the point is given and slope is given. This is a very more is an easier problem. Then x one comma y one is one comma one and slope is three. Uh, let's say another point as x comma y. So, slope formula is uh, y minus y1 by x minus x1 equal to slope. Yeah. So, y minus 1 by x minus 1 equal to 3. So, other simply 3x minus y equal to 2. That is your the desired equation. Then let's go to another example. The case 3 is that. So, equation of the point uh, uh, line passing through the point 1, comma 1 and minus 2, comma 3. So, if a end point put the gamma, that is x1, comma y1 is 1, 1, comma 1, x2, comma y, y2 is minus 2, comma 3. Upper number 2 point formula is put uh, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 equal to y minus y1 by x minus x1. So, again you put all the values for y1, y2, x1, x2, substitute all that, you get and simplify it, you get 
2 x plus b y equal to 5. So finally, you have to write the equation like this. Okay, a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 or a x plus b y equal to c. And the other formula. Okay, so the next problem. Uh, the point is given one comma one, and the perpendicular form a perpendicular from the origin makes an angle sixty degree with the x-axis. Origin. Now, the perpendicular from the origin makes sixty degree with the x-axis. That line will make an angle of 150 degree with the x axis. Okay. Because in the, I haven't drawn this diagram. Uh, the normal, I will go and show it over how it comes. Why we add the 90 degree again? Suppose this alpha is the angle that the normal makes with the x axis. What is the angle that the line itself makes with the x axis? In the angle, angle A, right? In the angle A, this is equal to 90 plus alpha. Yeah. So, uh, the, the extension of this exterior angle theorem. Exterior angle, correct is equal to sum of the two uh, other angles that is 90 degree plus alpha. So that is why the angle that the line makes will be 90 plus alpha. So that is the same concept I am using here. Okay. Since a perpendicular makes angle of 60 degree, the line will make angle of 150 degree with the x axis. Upper, whatever the line makes uh, that angle, that is your uh, theta and slope will be tan of that, tan theta. So, slope will be tan of 150, which is minus 1 by root 3. If we have a point and a slope, so and, and you can simply write the equivalent of the line as y minus y1 by x minus x1 equal to slope. So, putting that. It simplifies to x plus root 3 y equal to 1 plus root 3 y. So, let us go to another example. Uh, suppose if P uh, whose coordinates are R, C is midpoint of a line segment between the axes, then show that x by R plus y by C equal to 2. Okay. If, uh, given that P is a midpoint of the line segment between the axes, Uh, up o, that intercepts will be 2r and 2c. Okay. So, x, uh, because p is the midpoint, there is the, the line uh, cuts across, it is similar to this. And P is given as the midpoint of this uh, this intercept between X and Y, uh, these two points. P is the midpoint. So, since this is the midpoint, in the coordinate will be twice of the midpoint and in this will also be twice of the midpoint. Because midpoint of the center is center level. Yeah. So, that is why.
If P is the midpoint as a line segment between axes, okay, then 2C and 2R are the intercepts. So that means 0 comma 2C after 2R comma 0 will lie on the line. So our x intercept is 2R and y intercept is 2C. So another we can simply write the equation of the line as uh, x by a plus y by b equal to 1. That is x by 2r plus y by 2c equal to 1 or uh, x by r plus y by c equal to 2. Okay, take another example. Ipo, find the equation of the line passing through point uh, 1 comma 5 and also so divides the coordinate axis in the ratio 3 is to 10. Okay. So if, uh, what this is saying is uh, the ratio of x coordinate to y coordinate is 3 is to 10. So this line also cuts uh, like in the previous case. This line is also cutting the x axis and y axis and uh, that x intercept to y intercept that ratio is 3 is to 10 okay and a point is also given 1 comma 5 okay the, so the point uh, on the line x1 comma y1 which mother is equal to 1 comma 5 so x intercept is, is to y intercept is 3 is to 10 up till now slope will be minus b by a okay so this also I have to go back to that intercept. Okay. So suppose x intercept here is uh, a and this distance is a and this distance is b. Okay. So then uh, this angle is equal to minus of this angle. Okay, so the exterior angle is the is the, the real uh, the, uh, angle that uh, the line makes with the x-axis. So slope is actually tan of this, which which, which can be written as ta minus tan of this acute angle. And this acute angle we we see that it is y intercept divided by x intercept or b by a and slope is equal to minus b by a so since x intercept is to y intercept is 3 is to 10 then slope will be minus 10 by 3 so now we have the point on the line and the slope so so we can simply write the equation of the line as y minus y1 by x minus uh, x1 equal to slope. Okay? So y minus y5 by x minus 1 equal to minus 10 by 3. You simplify it, you get 10x plus 3y equal to 5. Okay. So this is the Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so I think uh, uh, I have provided enough examples. So it's time for you people to now try some problems yourself. Okay. So uh, I want let's let's work on these problems now. Okay. I think I want you people to do these problems. Okay. Keep up. So the first problem, uh, I am covering both locus and straight lines. Uh, the first problem is about the locus. Uh, if P uh, 2 comma minus 7 is a given point and Q is a point on 2x square plus 9y square equal to 18, then find the equation of the locus of the midpoint of PQ. So please work on this problem. It's similar to what we discussed and what we already did also with an example.
யாராவது ட்ரை பண்ண முடியுதா சொல்லுங்க the locus of a point and straight line for the maybe is best so i think she has left this is gone சார் <laughs> 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 Here, uh, we can consider the points of Q as uh, A and uh, B, sir, like coordinates. Mm-hmm. So, they gave that uh, to find the uh, midpoint, sir. So, uh, the midpoint will be H and K, we can consider. So, 2A plus, uh, 2 plus A by 2 is equal to H and uh, minus 7 plus B by 2 is equal to K, sir. Okay. Then, I can find the A and B from that. then i can uh, a and b will be lying on that line sir so i can substitute in place of x and y then i will get that okay good 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 uh, uh, nitin so for mathravangale purinjadade whatever uh, uh, nitin just explain peta or bhumika இப்போ வந்து गिवन பாயிண்ட் இஸ் 2, 7 ரைட் சோ இப்போ நம்ம h, kங்கிறது லெட் இட் பீ a பாயிண்ட் ஆன் தி रिक्वायर्ड லோகஸ் ஓகே ஆர் தி रिक्वायर्ड रिक्वायर्ड பாத்துல இருக்கிற பாயிண்ட் h, k ன்னு வெச்சுப்போம் இப்போ என்ன கொடுத்திருக்காங்க இந்த 2, 7 இஸ் 1 பாயிண்ட் Okay, h, k is on the required locus and that, and that point is the midpoint between 2, minus 7 and the curve 2x square plus 9y square plus 18. So, that's why h plus h minus 2. Okay, 
h minus 2 the, the distance between uh, the x coordinate distance between p and h comma k h minus 2 so the same thing we will have to add to get the coordinate on the uh, 2x square plus uh, 9y square plus 18 and the uh, uh, formula so another h plus h minus 2 and k plus k plus 7 will lie on the curve 2x square plus 9y square plus uh, equal to 18. In the line Purindida, I think this is the toughest part. Once you understand this, you know, the rest all will be very easy. No, sir, please explain. Okay, okay. See, uh, I should have drawn a diagram. The, the PPT is not problem. If it is a board, I can just draw and show it. Uh, okay, H plus H fifty nine ten point fifty and uh, just give me a minute. Is it like passing or not? So they, they are given a, uh, a curve. Okay. So in, in this equation, that put it like two a square or whatever. There was an equation given. That that represents this. Okay. In the origin length and the and the at any point and the curve or draw and put the line draw. Now what is the midpoint? Now you know you are put it like in the problem. Okay. Ba. Adnala. So, in the coordinate hk, abdina, r or coordinate is 2h2k. Do you understand the curve? In the problem, we are saying 2h2k because uh, this is in the origin. So, origin length is the hk, x, x distance is the h. Y distance is k obtained in the R is 2H2K. That is how it is obtained in the H plus H minus. Suppose this origin is where one point is put in the origin. That is the problem. The origin is where one point is put in the origin. So, then, in the point length, in the M is the distance. That is the distance of M length of R. Okay. Am I making sense? Sir, prepare for it, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, If you have HK in the day, required the locus to the point. In the origin, you get 2, minus 7. That's why we have the point on the graph is 2H2K. So, we have to put the point on the graph. That's why we have to put the point on the graph. That's why we have to put the point on the graph. That's why we have to put the point on the graph. Because, in the P and HK, X distance is H minus 2. Okay? And the other distance is the other side add. That is h plus h minus 2. That is the y coordinate k plus k plus 7. And that coordinate will lie on the curve 2x square plus 9y square plus equal to a k. Put it up, prepare. And that is? Yes, sir. Okay, so once we write this first line, then it is very easy. If I then I will simply write two h minus two k and two k plus seven satisfies the equation two x square plus nine y square plus eighteen. Apo number it be easy. 
to uh, in the in the equation is substitute for x to the power 2x plus minus 2 y to the power 2k plus 7 is substitute for 2 into 2h minus 2 the whole square plus 9 into 2k plus 7 the whole square will be 18. That we put in the uh, 8 into x minus 1 whole square plus 9 into 2y plus 7 whole square will be 18. Okay. That is uh, it required equation. Now, when you put a stop on that, let sometimes uh, further expand on that. The Uh, x minus one whole square uh, formula for the uh, two x plus one uh, expansion form for the one and in the body form. You know, sometimes we can even stop like this. Multiple choice, you know, sometimes we may even give like this, you know, like eight into x minus one whole square plus nine into two x plus one whole square equal to eighteen. Up there, you know, we stop. Oh, okay. I hope you all understood. Um, let's go to another problem. Another uh, problem. Another problem. इल लोकेस लाना वो प्रॉब्लम पोर्ट हो इन वो प्रॉब्लम नहीं है प्रॉब्लम पोर्ट ना सिंसियर रनिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम ठीक है स्ट्रेट लाइन लेते वो प्रॉब्लम लेट अस डू द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ना ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज वर्क ऑन द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम लेट्स सी If you can get this, the normal boiling point of water is hundred degree C, which is equal to two twelve degree F. And the freezing point is zero degree C, which is equal to thirty-two degree F. So now, now find the linear relation between C and F. Once you find the linear relation, you can always find the value of C given uh, F and value of F given C, and so on. Let us say. Uh, So what will be the first step? Is there any other thing? What is the approach that we use for the straight line equation? Y minus y one by y two minus y one is equal to x minus x one by x two minus x one is equal to y two. Correct. Very good, Shweta. Uh, they are given two points in the line. One point is hundred comma two twelve. Let us say, uh, yeah, you know, degree C is your x-axis and degree F is your y-axis. Okay. So one point is hundred comma two twelve. That means when x is hundred, uh, y is two twelve. That means hundred comma two twelve is one point. Similarly, zero comma thirty two is another point. They given two points. So given two points, find the equation of the line. All of that is the problem. So that is uh, like uh, Shweta said. It's the same formula. So okay, do it and uh, uh, derive get that formula. Uh, get that equation. Sir, uh, for uh, first question answer is C by uh, like nine C is equal to five F minus one sixty. Okay, let me. Yeah, I think what you said is right. Right. So when you say, sorry. So when x equal to 100, y equal to 212. So x1 comma y1 is 100 comma 212. Similarly, x2 comma y2 is 0 comma 32. So now we have to find the equation uh, with two points given. Uh, so the formula is y minus y1 by x minus x1 equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So you, if you substitute that, you will get the equation as uh, 5. Y minus 9x equal to 160, or uh, if, if you can write it as 5f minus 9c equal to 160. Because x y represents Fahrenheit and x represents centigrade. Another 5f minus 9c equal to 160. Uh, uh, Nitin, you got the same thing, right? 5f minus 9c equal to 160. Yeah. 
So, uh, number, we are going to f equal to 9 by uh, 5c plus 32 and c equal to 5 by 9 into f minus 32 by 9. Okay. So, it's all the same, writing the same. For 10 question answers, 37 degrees also. Correct. Yeah. So, now what is the value of c given f equal to 98.6 and what is the value of f given c equal to 38? So, it's just substituting and writing that. So, for third question, 100 points. Mm. Okay. So first question, uh, yeah, C equal to 37 and uh, the other one uh, F equal to 100.4. So, uh, we exceeded our time. Uh, we will stop here. The other problems, you can try to Okay. So, after this class, you can continue. I am going to share this material, uh, excluding the answer. Okay. I will share the material. Uh, other problems, you can try to do you will understand it better. I am repeating every time that you should try. Max doesn't come just by listening. Okay? It comes only by doing. So, I am going to share the material uh, now up to this uh, slide 20. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah. So, we already solved the problem 1 and 3. So, remaining problem 2, 4, and uh, 5. Uh, you please solve and uh, let me know if you are, uh, you are still have a problem. What we can do is Wednesday or so we can schedule a quick session to discuss the solution to this. Okay? I don't want to uh, go on discussing the solutions without giving you enough time. So you do the try your best. After that, you will discuss. Sir, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then. Uh, see you all. Huh? So we'll wrap it up now. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going